Hunk Away is the odor eliminator for people who sweat a lot, for people who work hard and play hard. As we were developing the formula, we talked about the first place we wanted to be was Jewel. Jewel was the first one that said yes to us. And forever I will be grateful and dedicated for that opportunity that they gave us. My specialty, I, I really go to, I don't know if you want to call it farm to fork being a specialty, but it's oh, yeah. it's building the dish from like the earth up. You know, it's like really looking at what we're, we're showcasing, what we're featuring, um, and then, you know, building it from there. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of experience, you know, and we're working where I was at Dante's in Italian cooking and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. But really my, my passion kind of lies in, in just accentuating whatever's local and, and working with what's in front of me. I don't really have mm -hmm. a specific you know area some folks really are into the smoking or or more into you know and, and for me mm -hmm. it's kind of like renaissance i'm all over with it you know uh -huh. okay. most of the time is whatever the dish not not to cover but whatever the dish would would accentuate it so if, if you're looking for more you know acidity in the pairing if you're looking for more sweetness uh -huh. in the pairing um less about you know what's in the the brew itself so much as what is in the dish you know uh -huh. is really where it comes from so you wouldn't want something like a real strong IPA that would maybe cover up something like a delicate fish, you know, uh -huh. you have to go with something light. Right, it's the same philosophy I would use with wine, really, where it comes from. Uh -huh. So, what we have here again is boneless, skinless, dark meat. We trim around, we leave a little bit of that fat. That's the good fat right there, they get this flavor. Um, it helps keep it drying out for us, especially with the dark meat. Clean that up, and then from there, we make the marinade. Make sure that's nice and evenly coated. Okay. Then we have the dredge, which we found the recipe for. We want to make sure this isn't overly saturated, otherwise you're going to end up with clumps for one and be patchy and it'll take more dredge than you need to, to fry it. Go right in with that. Again, so then from here, I just don't want it to be all clumpy. We want to make sure we coat it. We get into all those little crevices. Because this dredge in particular, we use, there's baking powder, cornstarch, uh, and of course the seasoning, seasoned salt, paprika, garlic, onion, pepper. And make sure it's all nice and coated. Because with the baking powder, it rises and it'll puff a little bit. So we want to make sure that it is fully coated and there aren't any wet spots that aren't coated because those will become dark and a little tough and that's not what we want here. We do want to make sure we shake off any excess flour, any excess dredge. See, it's nice and coated, it's not patchy, it's not wet. Carefully drop that in. Make sure they don't stick. The biscuit bun we get from Highland Bakery. Nice and flaky, but it also still holds up like a bun. Make sure we get it nice and coated with the butter. Done on your cooktop. You can also use a, a pan, a griddle, anything that works for you. Hear that sizzle. Now we've got our, our grilled biscuit bun. We have here is a pimento cheese we make in house, um, cream cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, diced red pepper, and then we use a mayonnaise, Dijon, mustard, and then we have some spicy seasoning. Push your sauce in there on our biscuit bun. Nice layer of that. Don't skim on the menu. Sour pickles, like you said, these are you know, cucumbers we slice on the mandolin here. Uh, to make our own pickling liquid. White vinegar, not a cider, and again, it's not a dill pickle, and it's not a sweet pickle, it's a sour pickle. Mm -hmm. Crushed pepper, bay leaves, garlic, you know, nice zest to it. Fried dark meat chicken on top, house hot sauce. And then kind of set into those, a nice generous amount right on top of there. Okay. And another trick, we never, 
We never played on the plate. We always played and then we transferred to a plate here. So for this sake, I'm going to here. Stick that right on top. That was the Dijon, the Zesty, you know. Um, a little bit of paprika, the cream cheese, and the cheddar. The slaw is real sweet and tangy, so it plays with that. The chicken's just savory. You know, uh, the nice crunch, and then those sour pickles work right through it. The biscuit bun just ties us all together. 